Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future video. For this DIY, I'll be making a coffee table using photo frames. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using 12 8x10 Dollar Tree photo frames and these come with a metallic gold finish. Next I'll take all 12 photo frames and I'll start unwrapping them and then I'll take them apart and put the glass aside. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. To handle the glass and less fingerprints, I'll be wearing latex gloves. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Once I was done, I took all my glass outside and spray painted two coats of the glossy black on one side of the glass only. For all DIY requests, follow me on Instagram. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll take all my photo frames and I'll start gluing the glass back on them with the glossy side facing down and the painted side facing up. I will continue on the rest. Before I apply anything on the glass, I'll be cleaning them with window cleaner. Next, I'll be using metallic gold contact paper and I'll be cutting them into single strips a quarter inch wide. Next, I'll take my strips and I'll start applying them on top of the glass and I'll be staggering them as I go and these you could cut them as long or as short as you like. And if you notice, I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut off the remaining strips. I get a lot of questions of where did I get my spatula and I got my spatula at Walmart. Because this coffee table is going to a loft apartment in New York City, I wanted to give it more of a modern design. Because I wanted the spacing to come out equally, I'll be using my first one as my guideline and continue on the rest. Next I took three large skewers and I cut them to size and I'll be using them to attach my photo frames together. Here I'm applying glue on the skewer and then I'll glue it onto the edge of the frame and I'll repeat the same steps on the next. Because I am gluing both frames together, I'll be applying more glue onto the skewer to hold. 
Once I was done, I'll take both frames and I'll stand them up together into a pyramid shape. Once it was dry, I'll take my next two skewers and I'll apply glue and then I'll glue them onto the edge of each frame. Once it was dry, I applied more hot In between the spaces, I'll be adding strips of glossy black contact paper. I repeat the same steps on the opposite side. And here is the finished look. I love the way this coffee table turned out because it's very different and unique. I made this coffee table for one of my closest friends in New York City and she has a beautiful gold and black loft apartment. These photo frames are made out of strong wood and as you can see you can place them in different position as long as you don't glue them together. And if you don't feel like using them as a coffee table, you could use them as pedestals. Or you could use it as a tall pedestal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.